so when I hit uh, equalize button onto the red channel uh, only the red channel in your uh, original image is equalized and when I do uh, green channel equalization only the green channel is equalized and I do the blue the whole image is equalized one of the other things that I notice is when all these stuff are equalized when you hit the 2d uh, median filter you can see uh, it has change everything back to normal so that's one of the stuff so coming to the filter options so I have five different filters in my GUI the average filter Laplacian log Sobel and the custom filter the custom filter what it does is uh, it considers these 16 edit text boxes as a, as a 4 by 4 matrix and uh, the data from these 16 edit text boxes are considered consider as a kernel for the filter so when you have uh, uh, when you enter something into these uh, 16 uh, text boxes and you hit custom filter it, uh, what it does is it applies it takes these as a kernel for the filter and it uses it on the original image and uh, it gives you the image so uh, for now let's try to do the average filter as you see it just uh, there is a, a little change in the histogram um, but nothing much is affected on the image when I hit the Laplacian a little bit of outlines uh, the Laplacian filter basically gives you the outline of the image so you can see we have obtained a little bit of outlines from this image the log filter it gives you a little more uh, uh, outline to your images and uh, the Sobel filter <coughs> the Sobel filter what it does is it uh, decreases uh, the bottom outline of it so uh, the custom filter <laughs> let me just try to do give a kernel some of this the custom filter as you can see uh, since uh, my kernel the custom uh, filter kernel has uh, only elements in, in its diagonal so the image is modified in such a way that only uh, uh, the pixels which have their uh, neighboring pixels in such a way are only filtered so that's that I have this button called the clear all filters <coughs> which will basically clear all the filters that I have applied on the image so coming to the save uh, so I have two different save buttons one is the save black and white image which basically saves the modified black and white image the save color image which saves the modified color image so for example let me just invert it so when I say save black and white image, it opens up a new uh, <coughs> window, and I can uh, give me give a file name like bw uh, one. You can say save colored image. You can say color one, and it saves the image. So that's pretty much uh, everything with my GUI. Uh, thank you.